Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love message for you Scorpio. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Scorpio. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio Nation. Let us see what's happening towards you. What is the love message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for the Scorpio Nation, okay? Before I start, Scorpio, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. Okay. Let us see what is coming towards you. This is a love message. What is the message for Scorpio? If you would like to further connect with me, I invite you to uh, be part of my mailing list. To do that, the link is down in the description box below. This is a love message for you. What's up with the Scorpio Nation, please? Okay. Let's get your overall energy, Scorpio. What is the overall energy for the Scorpio Nation? You have the Nine of Pentacles. You are single and ready to mingle or you don't want to be attached, okay? You're avoiding attachment or you're choosing not, yeah, pretty much the same. Ready, ready to mingle, yeah, so, sorry. Four of Pentacles, you're releasing attachment. So for some of you, your focus is all about coins, getting yourself busy, productive, and really opening your heart to love, okay? You're not so attached with somebody, with someone right now. You're just simply opening your heart to anyone who would like to spend time with you, who would like to have um, a connection with you. Pentacles, you know, pentacles, these are... Um, Pentacles represent, um, you know, it's it's more of what I pick up with the Nine of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles is that you're going to prioritize, focusing on coins, focusing on material things, more of material things, focusing on finances, material things, independence. I wouldn't be surprised, Scorpio, because we've got the Taurus new moon very soon. That's an eclipse. So there's a lot of finance, you know, a finance focus on that and also partnership. So there's a lot of that in here, independent focus and money, money, money. If there is a honey, I think you would accept it. But I'm really, really feeling the vibe of the nine of pentacles. Like you're not attached. You're attached with money. Look at how you hold the hand. Look at how you, you, you hold the coin on in, in, you know in here see so yeah maybe this is a money reading let's see i'll put it back so um okay let's pick up more intuitive message for you scorpio in love you've got the nine of cups the three of swords so you don't have you don't hold any grudge you're not bitter you're simply nine of cups you know you're having your moment scorpio i don't know where you are right now well i'm vacation right now but Nine of Cups, this is eating, drinking, sleeping, relax. Nine of Cups, there's something that, um, this is also wish come through, Nine of Cups. This is complacency, good life. You have a good life, Scorpio, let me tell you that. So Nine of Cups, you have a good life, Nine of Cups. Three of Swords, it's possible that you've moved on, but I'm really, really picking up a very singular reading with the Nine of Cups, Three of Swords. When I say singular, you're very much focused on what makes you happy. You're not focused on the happiness of the other person. What makes you happy is whatever you're doing. So emotionally, you're satisfied. You're moving on. When it comes to love, Ace of Wands in reverse. I mean... You want love, but if it will just give you pain, you'll release it. I'm really picking up a very straightforward Scorpio reading in here where if you cannot commit with me, go away kind of thingy because I have my own nine of cups to deal with. 
I've got my life to live. I've got money to spend. I've got time to enjoy. If you won't give me my Ace of Wands in upright position, then you probably just have to go away. So, in short, you're busy living, loving your life. Not them. All about you. Let us see the person or the situation connected to you. They've got the Five of Swords and the Hierophant card. If you look at this person, this is your person. They've got Hierophant card. You could be dealing with someone who is engaged with other traditional activity. Because in here, you're Nine of Cups. You're doing your own thing, not thinking about this person, you know. Very individual. You know, Nine of Cups eating drinking sleeping having fun enjoying life your person they are attached to something traditional when i say traditional it could be a work you are like in here you're like in vacation mode and fun mode your fun fun enjoy your person is like attach boring looking forward for scorpio look, look at the five of swords the Five of Swords is looking at you because you're enjoying your life. You're single, you're free, you're enjoying your life. This person is attached. They're attached into someone, into something that they are not enjoying it. So it could be job, it could be work, it could be project, but whatever, whoever, whatever this is, it's not fun. That's why Five of Swords, they wish to be with you. Wow. <laughs> this person wish to be with you. There's a person who wish to be with you, Scorpio. Let's look at the Five of Swords in here. Oops, a lot. Okay. Let's take it back. What is the Five of Swords for Scorpio? Okay. Yeah, I told you guys. This person, Ten of Cups in reverse, the Page of Swords. I really feel like you're dealing with a person, romantic person, Scorpio, where they aren't telling you that they're actually in a place or in a location or with a person that they're not happy and they wish to be with you. Five of Swords, the Ten of Cups. I feel like soon, I feel like Scorpio, you'll receive a message with this person that I'm not happy where I am and I wish to be with you. In this reading, Scorpio, you are free. This person is engaged or attached. If it's not with work, with other people that they don't want to be with and they but they want to be with you. And they'll tell it to you very soon, Scorpio. Yeah, look at that. I clarified the Hierophant card. It's the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Wherever they are, life is not fun. On your side, fun, living life, loving life. Your person is boring, boring, boring. I wish to be with Scorpio. There's going to be a message that will confirm this. Okay? So you could be long distance. Okay, there's a lot of cards that is jumping in and out. I'll put it back because I don't think it's ready. Now, in the second reading, I feel like this is an X. Definitely an X for someone who you have been... Yeah, a very strong ex person. Now, the next reading, Scorpio, is you've got the Temperance card, the Will of Fortune. Well, you have to admit, Scorpio, that there was a relationship in the past that you struggled to move on. Um, I feel like you're really, really trying to move on with this person. I feel like there is a bit of frustration in terms of forgetting and moving on with this person. If you are, if you Scorpio, if you're struggling to move on or forget, then you are doing it in a frustrated way. Because temperance card, the will of fortune, you know, you don't have to frustrate yourself when you move on or when you step out of a, you know, an ending relationship. It should, it should, it should be organic. There is a pressure coming from you Scorpio to move on, to forget and to heal. It, 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 it won't happen overnight, Scorpio. Yeah, temperance card, wheel of fortune. Yeah, you've got here the strength card. You know, there is so much, 
you know sometimes it's it's sometimes it's really hard Scorpio to move on or to forget or to heal because the amount of emotions feelings memories involved it's a lot it's a lot to forget like it will take time to release that so in this reading it's kind of asking you to take time to move on and to heal whether to move on from an argument or a fight or maybe it could be a breakup but take it easy when it comes to moving on healing try to find really a balance on how you are going to forget the person the person or the situation connected to you two of cups in reverse um like you this person is also moving on or avoiding or forgetting by committing to other it's possible that you break up recently if you break up three to six months ago scorpio the way this person moves on or forget or heal is to keep themselves busy so i would say you versus them they keep their mind busy towards work you i feel like the way you move on is you're still replaying the memories that you have together if that's the case that's that's going to be a little bit difficult because there's a part of you when you keep replaying the memories it's nice but it also it also brings you the nice feeling and the not so nice feeling so maybe keep yourself busy ground your energy don't think about so much romantic i mean who am i i mean scorpions are very you know emotional but in here you're you're there's a part of you that you move on you keep replaying the good memories which makes you more attached the person that you're dealing with what they're doing is to keep themselves busy at work so they're more grounded in terms of moving on from you you know let's see the connecting energy between the two of you scorpio this is i think three to six months like it's been three to six months so yeah so the connecting energy between the two of you is the night of the night of once in reverse and the chariot card in reverse um take it slow yeah take it slow let's see if this person's gonna contact you eight of pentacles i feel like around the month of august there's gonna be a neutral ground between the two of you around the month of august i'm picking up that one of you would yeah one of you would call or text but it's not yet romantic i feel like this is a heavy breakup give it until august I feel like there is an August moment that will define whether this is the finality. But pretty much, you struggle to move on, Scorpio. I'm having goosebumps in here. Yeah. So that's the second reading. Of, like, this is a heavy breakup. And I feel like the reason why we're picking it up, because we've got the Taurus new moon, which is a solar eclipse. Eclipse is like a jump start. It will assist you to move into the next level. So with you, maybe you will realize that you know romanticizing the connection will keep you more and more stuck okay the last reading eight of cups four of swords okay yeah like with this with this energy scorpio eight of cups you keep on thinking about a person or a romantic situation pretty much the same you keep thinking about how romantic it is like how sweet it is to be loved by you yeah seven of swords ten of pentacles i'm really getting like you're still hoping that you and this person would probably connect together in a loving way you keep coming back to how sweet it is to be loved by you moment okay seven of swords i'm really picking up with the with the second reading and the third reading it's more of a reality bite like look into the reality scorpio before you go and romanticize it look at the reality scorpio the reality the now really speaks where you and this person in terms of update in, in terms of romantic update where are you where are you right now with the person and what amount of attention 
support, love do you get from this person right now? That is the answer. Because I'm really, really picking up, guys, a very romantic Scorpio. I think we will have um, Pluto retrograde and Gemini will also be in the scene. So I think Venus, Venus, Jupiter, Gemini, something. So there's a lot of romantic antics, you know, like romanticizing something that is not should be like, like it blurs you if it's too romantic kind of thing. The person or the situation connected to you, Scorpio, Queen of Swords, they're open to talk to you. In fact, I, I really feel like this person, Scorpio, would like to make a conversation with you, would like to come back with you, but it's not going to be romantic. It's more of dealing with the issues because this is logical. Like Scorpio, before we go um, romantic, let's be logical. What is your issue? What is my issue? And then if we get together and we have a compromise, then we become romantic. So... It's, it's kind of telling you, Scorpio, to remove the rose-colored tinted glass and let's get to the bottom of the things in you. Let's, go, let's, be, let's be blunt, specific. What is the issue? What's the problem? Can we compromise? If not, then your card bottom. Then let's, you know, let's move on to the next cycle. Maybe we'll take a break. Maybe we'll step out of this. But there's a very strong emphasis that if you're dealing with an ex or someone you're dating... Let's not go go over and over about the romantic first. Let's solve the issue first. Yeah, look at that. Let's solve the toxic. And who knows? We can be romantic again. Let's see. Get two cards. You've got the eight of wands and the birds. Reverse one more. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Look, Scorpio. This is wonderful. There are some things in life that would like to be romantic. Like I feel like with this reading, Scorpio, you are avoiding to talk about the issue. Okay. Maybe you don't want to break up. You're avoiding to talk to talk about the issue. The person that you're dealing with would like to talk about the issue. If you and they believe that if they talk about this person, Scorpio, they believe that if you and them talk about the issue and if there's a compromise, then slowly love will come alive. Look at that. So they have good intentions, Scorpio, Knight of Cups. So open your heart with the person logically and emotionally logically logically first before you go emotional knight of cups i have really i have a really strong feeling that okay let's sort out the mess scorpio before we go romantic because they want to they want they want something romantic from you but how can we have a lovey-dovey moment if there's still a toxic energy in here knight of cups this is a sincere offer. Okay, so don't get me wrong. I'm really picking up Scorpio. Don't go, Scorpio, don't get me wrong. I want to get into here, the Knight of Cups moment. I want to, you know, I want to make love with you, Scorpio. But first, let's, let's deal with the issue. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day.